Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here inside the Sugarloaf Fire Company to talk about an important fundraiser, a fundraiser that will be for the Sugarloaf Ambulance. It's a tricky tray raffle. I'm very pleased to be joined right now by Josh Legg. He is the EMS captain. He's an EMT here. You're a diehard. You just love taking care of other people, helping other people, and you want this to be a complete success. But before we even get into the event, we want to know about the Sugarloaf Ambulance. So tell us about it. So we are a partially volunteer, partially paid service, providing EMS to Sugarloaf, Black Creek, and a portion of Beaver Township in Columbia County. We are solely just BLS, basic life support, um, providing EMTs. This is a tough job because you see where everyone's always looking for new employees. It's tough to get people. It's tough to staff places. And it's very expensive to keep this equipment going. So how tough has it been? Financially, it's been very tough. Um, pay rates for our profession are, are just horrible. Um, it's not just here. It's nationwide. Um, it's a progressing problem with staffing in general. We try to prov provide two EMTs at all times, but we also do have a driver and an EMT when we have uh, the staffing for it, providing the 24 hour, seven days a week coverage that we can. So it's very difficult to maintain the equipment is very, is very difficult. Um, part of the reason why this fundraiser started was because we, our glucometers no longer manufacture the ones we, we love. Um, so we need to update ours and we're preferring to add to ours um, along with some other pieces of equipment that have unfortunately met their age of use. Um, and that's why we're trying to get this fundraiser on, on the way. So it's like, it's not like you have cheap equipment here. These things cost a lot of money. So talk about some of the price tags of the, some of the things you have to replace. An ambulance, this ambulance sitting right here has a two year to three year wait for an ambulance if we were to order it today at the upwards cost of about $320,000, brand new. Um, fortunately, at the beginning of the year, I received a grant for a cardiac monitor that's gonna help us drastically. That out the door with a price tag of $41,000. Um, our stretcher systems are $45,000 but it compares to a workman's comp claim for us is, is a drastic price that we just are willing to pay. But to, to maintain it, it's just unfortunate. And the income that we get, we are not township funded. We are solely funded by our ambulance subscription that will be going out shortly, along with the, the EMS bills that we do. Unfortunately, due to most insurance standards, we only could bill for miles. So it kind of limits us. Uh, on the income that we get per call. What's been, I guess, the job been like? I mean, I'm sure it's changed over the past few years because we had COVID that made things really tough for you. How's it been? It's been very rough. Um, staffing in general is just rough. The call volume is rough, um, not only with COVID-related calls, respiratory calls, but we also have drug-related incidents. Um, we cover a high portion of Interstate 80 which leads to a lot of traumatic incidents and tr motor vehicle accidents and such. It is not the job that it once was when I started a long time ago. So it's drastically changed for the mental well-being of the providers. So you're always looking for staff as well, I'm sure, because it's not easy to maintain the staff either. It's not. Um, unfortunately, two providers of here have started the, the next stage. They've got left and gone for their paramedic but it's, it's unfortunately just a, a nationwide problem. Well, while we're here, let's make a pitch. If anybody is looking for a job, who do they contact? What do they have to do? They could contact us by either calling the firehouse here, 570-788-2249, and um, pushing option one, or reach out to our Facebook page at Sugarloaf Fire Company Incorporated and message us, and we will get an application to you or go on our website sugarloaffirerescue.com and pull off a, an application and send it in. EMTs, EMRs, drivers are all accepted. So now you're having this fundraiser, this big tricky tray raffle, hoping to make a lot of money off of it. Do you have plans for the money or are you just putting it in the pot to build up towards like a new ambulance or something? A little bit of both. Um, we want to replace some of the 
glucose meters that we have and add to them. Um, we want to potentially put some money down towards an ambulance and to update some other equipment and to go towards some of our current staff because they, they deserve it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, to raise money for the equipment that Josh just talked about, we're going to find out about this special event that is happening on Friday, November 1st and Saturday, November 2nd. It is the Sugarloaf Ambulance Tricky Tray Raffle. And Vanessa Wolf, an EMT here, is one of the organizers of this <laughs> big event. You tell me there's a lot of stuff happening for that. So you're having uh, first, I guess, an early bird night on Friday, but then the big event is on Saturday. So what can people expect? Uh, so basically Friday is just an early bird, so I know people won't be able to make it for Saturday, so we decided to make it like that. Just come put your tickets in from 5 to 8, um, and then Saturday is when we'll be selling the food and we'll have um, just everything there, um, so it's Friday night. Um, we also have um, a big Yeti of cheer. Um, Alcohol is donated by a, a, a member and a friend of ours. Um, just can't think any... Everybody is just so, I, I can't even explain it. Everyone's just donating from Hazleton all the way down to um, Fern Glen and Rockland, uh, Bloomsburg, Berwick, and it's just the local businesses. And um, we just want to thank uh, Wildcat Dumpster for donating um, and also buying our new uh, blood glucose monitors. Uh, I want to thank Mario DeCosmo for promoting um, our fundraiser so far. Um, he's gotten a gun raffle together and he's selling, he's doing it uh, on behalf of us and we've sold over a thousand tickets so far. Um, and then we also have two chairs by Highwood um, that one of our members that has graciously donated that to, so that's there. Um, we have a ton of gift certificates and just, we just have an abundance of uh, tricky trays. But I'm just really hoping for a great turnout because it will help us in the long run. As an EMT yourself, how important is this fundraiser? It's very important. Um, I just would love to see more equipment come in. I know uh, Josh also said that he is, uh, we got funding for new monitors, so we want to upgrade our systems even more and towards the future. And just newer equipment is better for us. What would you want to say to our viewers about this big event coming up November 1st and 2nd? Make your pitch. Um, all I say is just I want you to come out and support. I know it's right before the holidays and I know funding's a little short for some people, but it's a great cause. Um, you don't know how much it will help us in the long run.